Hi, it's just a quick video to uh, have a look at this uh, KUKA hardness test. I don't know whether you tried to do it or not. Um, it's going to be really short because I found this really confusing. However, I've gone through it and basically what you need to do is take the receptacle, rinse it out, put the, the water you want to test in it and then drop this in the uh, harvest tester until the water changes back to green it comes out green at the start but the water will go red i'll just show you i've done this one right, i've just filled that with a new water sample so i'm going to take the top off of this um, and then hold it vertically now i'm going to drop three in straight away just because I know three means it's soft, so if it's blue, uh, green now, it's soft water. So actually, it isn't as red as it could be. But then I am testing, so I've got four, should do it with two hands, obviously. That's starting to turn green. Five. Now I would say that's green. And I've just written a little summary up there. 0 to 3 is soft, 3 to 7. Now that's quite good because I've just taken that sample off our hot water supply, which goes through salted water softener. Um, I will show you the cooker one. Now this is the cooker water. Now this is still hot, and I'm not sure, to me it seems illogical to do it while it's hot because it's adding more energy to the chemical equation but I'm going to do it anyway because again I've done this once already and I've got up to nine drops before it all oh, there you go it's gone bright red so I'm going to go three I'm going to go straight in for six because I'm doing this one-handed and look at that not any change at all two three again I'm still sort of wary that it's ah oh, there you go it's starting to change now on nine so I've got 10. Oh, there you go, look at that. Gone to green. But we're looking at a little chart, and 10 is hard. Oh God, 10 is right at the top. Mm. I think it turned at nine when I'd had it cold. Um, but there you go, that's how to test it. So we know that the water coming out of the cougar is hard, and we need to change the water uh, softener there's a big bag of sand in there uh, one other thing I would just add with this I've had this for five or six years now this system and I've found that if you have changed the water softener um, cartridge regularly um, what will actually happen is the, the lines get furred up in between the heater unit and the tap and the only way I know to get rid of that is to put something like Kill Rock or some sort of really hard descaler through it, which is quite a job. Changing the filter isn't a massive job. It's just a case of taking it all apart and putting it back together again, which I think I've done in another video. But anyway, I'll probably do one now. Thanks.